welcome to this Science Saves video. I'm Devinda Gardner and I am a clinical scientist in radiotherapy physics. Science Saves exists to raise the profile of healthcare science and its associated careers. And in this series of videos, we are interviewing healthcare scientists to provide information for those considering a career in healthcare science. Today's question for a healthcare scientist is, what event or project has been the highlight of your work so far? So I'm thinking about the future and I'm thinking, what's, what's important now for the future of medical physics? Well, we need to collaborate. We need to collaborate with lots of people, not only in the NHS and not only in the UK, but we do need to collaborate worldwide because all of these ideas don't come about with one person in an office or a laboratory. They come out because we collaborate all the time with different scientists. And I can think of hundreds of examples in my career where we've sat around and helped each other. Um, in my particular field, I was specialising in measurements of radiation. And we did lots of collaborative work with the National Physical Laboratory in London. Uh, we did lots of work with industri industry um, in the nuclear sector, writing good practice guidance. Um, so it's been very enjoyable, met some very interesting people along the way. For me personally, the highlight of my work so far would be being part of a team of like-minded individuals that all strive for the same goal. It makes me excited every single day when I wake up to go to work and having that feeling is a true privilege. One of the highlights of my career so far was as a very young STP, um, I had the opportunity to go to a, an international conference in Northern Spain, um, presenting an abstract and a poster there. And that was pretty nerve wracking, if I'm honest, like as a very junior healthcare scientist being surrounded by lots of expert cardiologists in, uh, in the particular field that I was presenting in was, it's quite daunting, but I stood there with my poster answering questions as and when um, people came up to me. And really it was, uh, was eye-opening, it was great just having conversations with various clinicians, as well as being able to listen to the fantastic talks and the real cutting, cutting edge science that uh, they were briefing us on, whether that's new diagnostic tests or more involved diagnostic tests or the complete pathway. It really opened my eyes to the broader specialism rather than just what I'm focusing on um, as a cardiac scientist. And of course, I couldn't um, leave the Healthcare Scientist Training Network, the London Healthcare Scientist Training Network out. We've done some fantastic stuff over the last year in tricky circumstances with a fantastic board and created some really fun and useful events for the trainees in London. And hopefully there's plenty of more of that to come. A few weeks ago, I went to do some, uh, what we call bunker measurements for a room where a linear accelerator radiotherapy machine was. Because of the very high dose rate from these linear accelerators, what we call a bunker is built around it, which contains uh, from one to two meters of high density concrete in order to shield the outside from the radiation. I was, so I was there with a radiation detector on the other side of these really, really thick walls while the beam was on and to measure how much radiation was still getting through these walls and if this amount was in safe limits. I found this project so interesting as it's really incredible to me that a measurable amount of radiation can get through two meters of concrete, um, but fortunately it was within safe limits. During my scientist training program, I was able to spend six weeks in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, where I, where I volunteered with ECRI Institute, which is a non-profit organization improving safety um, and quality of care worldwide. And the ECRI team was fabulous. And I've learned a lot about healthcare um, systems in Southeast Asia, which broadened my horizons and expanded my knowledge in the field. And um, I was also able to travel around the country and see the beauty of Malaysia. I volunteered at a careers fair where I promoted and spoke to sixth form students about healthcare science. Another example would be setting up and validating a new instrument in the lab namely an ICPMS, which stands for Inductively Coupled Mass Spectrometer, to measure trace metals in the blood. Thanks to everyone for answering that question. I cool watching that and watching how varied the answers were. And I think in summary, what seemed to give 
people a lot of joy and motivation was um, working with others to advance their field, using what they do to help train others, leading in innovation in the NHS, and for some like Jamie, just the pure joy of seeing science at work was such a highlight. If you liked this video, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for joining us and take care.